Hi, this is Chris from Moto Legends, the chap in the cap. Here today to talk to you about a boot from Daytona. It's called the Roadstar GTX. It is probably the core product within the range. They have a number of boots that do different things, but this is the number one seller. It's the boots that most people buying into Daytona will end up with. A few words about Daytona beforehand because it's quite a special company. The company is owned and run by two brothers, Helmut and Reinhard Frey. Boots are made in their factory in Bavaria and they've been making boots in the same factory since 1957. It is a very old fashioned company and they do things in a very particular way. You can go into the factory today and you will still find Reinhardt and Helmut wearing their coats, overseeing production on the shop floor. We've been there and we've seen Helmut overseeing a process, part of the manufacturer on a machine at one end of the shop floor, whilst Reinhardt's at the other end, sweeping bits off the floor to keep the place tidy. They do things in a very particular way. It's an old fashioned business, but they are obsessed with doing things properly, making the world's best motorcycle boots, which we are confident they do. Let's talk you through this boot in a little bit more detail. First thing, they're leather. It's the softest leather, the most comfortable leather you'll find on a motorcycle boot. It's not lacking in strength, it's just a higher quality, more expensive leather. The Frey brothers admit that, and their philosophy is we're just gonna put the best components into these boots, and at the end of the day, they will cost what they cost. The leather is hydrophobically treated in the tanning. Hydrophobic means that it expels or repels water or moisture. So even though the boots are protected with a Gore-Tex membrane, the fact that the leather will also repel the moisture is just going to make them even more waterproof. The membrane on all Daytona boots, not all Daytona boots have a waterproof membrane, they do a summer range, but whenever Daytona does a waterproof membrane, it's going to be a Gore-Tex membrane. It's a Gore-Tex climatic membrane, as it's called. It's a really comfortable membrane, has a gusset here that makes it easier to get in and out of the boots, so they open nice and wide. At the top here, you have a, um, um, an edging that catches the rain to stop it dropping down into the boot. Here, you have a calf adjuster, so if you have particularly large calves. You can widen the boots to make it easier to get in and out of. One of the things about getting in and out of these boots, just a little tip, this zip here on the outer edge is curved. That's quite a difficult zip to do up, particularly when the boots are new, you're going to buy them fairly tight because they are going to give. When you put the boots on, make sure that you do that zip first, that the straight zip on the inner side is left open. This zip is much easier to do when that one is open. Uh, getting around the corner here can be a little bit difficult, but once you've got that, then you do the inner zip. If you do it the other way around, you may never get these boots done up. In terms of fit, on the subject of comfort, the boots tend to be fairly generous. I think that's aided a little bit by the softness of the leather. Often when you put a motorcycle boot on, it's very hard and you end up having to buy a, a size larger than you might want. But with these, it's exactly the opposite. If somebody comes into our shop and wants a size 43, we will normally start them off in a Daytona with a size 42. It doesn't always happen, but it's quite a generous fit. Um, boots do come also in wide fits, but you have to have a very wide foot indeed to need a Daytona in a wide fit. Obviously the primary purpose of a boot is to protect your feet and Daytona's boots are as protective as anybody's. So let's just talk through some of the features. You've got a hard formed ankle protector on the inside and the outside, but on the inside of that protector, there's an open cell phone. So from the inside, you can barely feel it. It's a really comfortable ankle protector. It does its job, but when you're wearing the boot, you can barely tell. You've got a hard protector on the toe. You've got a reinforced counter in the heel of the boot, reflective panel here, obviously, and some uh, uh, Constantina 
panel here just to aid articulation to make the boot easier to live with. Here on the toe, you've got a PU formed gear change. On the front of the boot up here, you've got a hardened plastic shin protector, but on the inside that is lined with latex foam. Again, the idea being that once you've got these boots on, they feel uncomfortable. And indeed, some people put these boots on and having worn something much stiffer, maybe having come from an off-road boot, they feel that these boots are just not up to the job in terms of protection. I've got to tell you that these boots are amazing boots. They're worn by police forces all around Europe. They are as protective as you're ever going to need on the road. Sole here is a rubber non-slip sole. Boot is torsionally incredibly strong. And what you have inside the boot, obviously you have an inner sole that's a comfort sole, it can be changed if it gets um, a little bit smelly, but that's a standard form of sole. But inside the boot here, maybe you can't see it, but there's a plastic uh, panel runs the length of the boot for rigidity, but inside that, underneath it, there's a galvanized steel inlay that makes the boot impossible to twist. So in an accident situation, one of the problems with a motorcycle boot is that it can get caught, it can twist, it won't do with this boot. A couple of things that this boot doesn't have that its big brother, the Travel Star Pro, has. It doesn't have storm flaps on either side, but that shouldn't be a problem. We have the full height gusset you've got the Gore-Tex membrane runs all the way to the top of the boot. So whilst the storm flap adds an extra component on the Travel Star Pro, I think it's barely necessary here. It is supremely comfortable to wear. Um, you put one of these on and they should feel like a glove from day one. It's a slightly disconcerting feeling if you've never had a Daytona boot before. Daytonas, however, are expensive. These boots, as we record this, I. Um, we're at the end of November 2019. The retail price of these right now is £420. Now, you can buy a boot that purports to do the same thing. In other words, provide full height protection, um, give you proper waterproofing, maybe even a Gore-Tex membrane. You can pay half the price of this boot. So why should you pay twice as much for a Daytona boot? And the answer is really that these boots are made for life and if you do wear them out in any area, Daytona will repair them for you, obviously at a price. But if these boots are properly looked after, you can really be wearing these in 20 years time. And we have customers who have been around the world in theirs. They bring them in, we send them off to Germany, they repair them, they come back like, like new. They will go on and on and on. You can have the soles replaced. So if you've rub these along the ground and you now have holes in these and that's now letting in water, they will replace the sole. I'm going to explain the one condition on which they won't do that. They will replace the zip, they will replace the gear change protector, they will even replace the waterproof membrane. I suppose inevitably there will come a point where if you're doing all of those, you're pretty close to the cost of a new boot and you might as well buy a new boot. But if you're doing one of these elements at a time, you really can find that these boots are going to last years and years. The one time that the factory will not, for example, replace the sole is if the leather has dried out and cracked. Now, their leather is a very special leather that's got a particular blend of oils and waxes. You need to look after the leather. There is a special uh, restorer that Daytona do. Doesn't look like any other shoe polish or cream you've ever come across, but if you treat the leather regularly with that, you will keep it supple, you will keep it waterproof. The problem is, on a motorcycle boot, if you're out in all weathers, in the rain and the heat, leather can, can dry out. If it dries out and starts to form cracks, Daytona will not repair these boots because once that leather's cracked, they cannot guarantee that when they put a new sole on, they can maintain the waterproofing. So if you want to wear these boots for years and years and years, you really do have to just provide them with a wee bit of care. It's not a lot of work. I'm talking about once a month, once every six weeks, just an application of the restorer, keep them supple, keep them moist, and then these boots will go on and on. Um, so that's the Daytona Roadstar GTX. We think it's a fantastic boot. Um, 
It's ex expensive, yes, but if you can work on this on the basis of owning them for five to 10 years, that ends up not a lot of money. So um, if this is a five year boot, that's 80 pounds a year, not a lot for protecting your feet. I think they're gonna last for 10 years with most people. That's 40 pounds a year. If you don't think your feet are worth that, then I think you need to think about things again. If you'd like to read more about these boots, you can visit the website, www.motolegends.com. If you'd like to subscribe to our email bulletins, then you can do that on the website as well. On the front page, we have a number of little blocks, a number of little squares, we call them tiles. There's one of those for subscribing. We get new products into the building pretty much every day of the week. And what we normally do when they come in, we send an email bulletin out telling people what's arrived and what's special about those products. If you'd like to receive those, those bulletins, do feel free to subscribe. If you would prefer to get your information videographically, then we'd be delighted if you would have become a subscriber to our YouTube channel and you'll find the subscribe button below. If, however, you'd like to go direct to the product, there should be a little button up there to my left. So if you click on there, that will take you straight to the Daytona Roadstar GTXs. So it's a boot you cannot go wrong with. Yes, it's expensive, but I'm pretty confident it's gonna pay back over a number of years. Anyway, this has been Chris from Moto Legends. Thank you very much for listening. Hope to talk again soon.